Hello, you wonderful people. So for today's video, I want to talk about a topic that came up recently on the uh, Rooster Teeth podcast. Uh, Bernie brought it up. I thought it was kind of an interesting conversation I just kind of wanted to kind of make a video about. It was the whole aspect of like, he thinks that Avengers 4 will be a big drop-off point when it comes to the MCU for a lot of people just because it's like everything has been leading up to this big moment in the MCU with like, you know, this is rounding out the... Thanos arc, I guess you want to put it. And so, as you know, or may not know, that the MCU is continuing after that. Avengers 4 is not the last movie. There's actually other MCU movies that are continuing, you know, they're already in production. It's just kind of an interesting thing for me because it's like, I guess it kind of makes sense in some regards because it's like, yeah, you've kind of gotten up to this point and then boom, like, you know, which I don't, I don't know. Like, I feel like some people are hardcore into this that they're like, no, I'm continuing anyway. But for some people, that might be it, you know, especially for those who probably pop in and pop out when it comes to the movies. It's like, yeah, once I see Avengers 4, I really won't care beyond that. They'll probably, they might pop in every once in a while, depending on what like movies are coming out, you know, like their next, like, it's like, oh, I like this certain superhero, so I'll go watch their movie but I won't be as invested because like this has been a soon to be 22 movie uh, investment so it's kind of like going beyond that especially especially there's also the whole thing that has to be considered too because a lot of the casting is going to be changing up going forward especially when you think in certain regards so there's that. Because I think I have it in my head thinking that everyone in general knows about a lot of this stuff. But like, you know, obviously a lot of people don't want you to be spoiled, so they try not to read too much ahead. I mean, to be fair, Marvel literally laid it out a long time ago. Of like, oh yeah, this is our plan this far in advance. So you can already see like what they have lined up in production and what's coming out when, time slots and stuff like that. Well in advance, that's always been kind of the MCU thing, but a lot of people have avoided that. Me, I've, I've looked at it every once in a while. One time it was just simply because, you know, obviously I was doing the whole thing where I was like, Rewatching the MCU movie, so I was trying to rewatch them in order that they came out in. But there's also the aspect of like a lot of people probably don't have like MCU stuff kind of blasted in their face, like every so often, kind of like I do, just simply because I think a combination of the content I make plus like the type of videos I watch, so stuff like that kind of pops up in my recommendations and stuff like that, plus stuff I'm subscribed to. But I try not to watch those type of videos just because I want to keep the MCU as, as much of a surprise to me as possible but like for me even more so because like i know what the next movie is just in case someone doesn't know i won't spoil it because i mean knowing this next movie which a lot of people already know about it's like that kind of spoils avengers 4 for you but still for the casual viewer that doesn't know that much hasn't read into everything it's gonna be like a big surprise so it's like but me the next movie after avengers 4 i'm like Oh yeah, of course I'm going to watch that movie. And which I, so for me, it's like, they already got me hooked into the next section of the MCU, like the next arc or phase they're going into. I mean, even without this next movie being this particular movie, I would be invested anyway, because I'm curious to see how they play this all out. Because I'm also interested to find out like who's the next villain. Because if you're unaware, basically what they're doing for the MCU, it's not going to get bigger from here. What they're going to do is, after everything's said and done in Avengers 4, the stories are coming back and getting smaller again. So, which is interesting considering the first movie that starting off with is kind of like, eh, it's kind of a small story in certain regards. Cause I, I, don't, I don't know, it's just kind of funny when you, and, and interesting when you think about like the next movie that's lined up with everything. But nevertheless, so it's kind of like they're almost like, not necessarily rebooting, obviously they're continuing, but the universe is like going back to small stories and then eventually they'll build back up until like the next big main antagonist and stuff like that. So, cause another, angle that has to also be thought of too is let's not forget there's the whole Fox and Disney deal which still like won't fully go into effect until 2019 probably late 2019 in particular so there's also the whole angle of like all the mutants and stuff like that being brought into the MCU too like how they want to like handle that so that might be another reason for other people to be like honestly I'm going to stick around just because I'm curious to see how they combine the X-Men, how they handle that whole situation potentially. So like I said, it's just kind of like a fascinating uh, discussion to me. Um, and ultimately my question to you is, how do you feel about this whole situation? Will Avengers 4 be the drop off point for you? Like, will you be as fully invested in the next chunk of the MCU as, as you have been this chunk? Or has some of the stuff I brought up before been going to be reasons why you fall off? Is it just because you're like, yeah, I've seen the end of what I really invested in, so that's fine. You'll pop in every once in a while, depending on a superhero movie. Let me know all your thoughts in the comments down below. I'm very interested to kind of hear other people's opinions about those. But really, that's all I want to talk about in this video. Until the next time we meet, be happy, be safe, love, watch it, force, and enjoy it. Good day and goodbye.